Showcase. Only Big 12 Showcase takes you on location every week for unparalleled coverage of all the athletic programs from across the conference. From the latest news and highlights to exclusive features and interviews, no one is more dedicated to the Big 12 than FSN. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, Big 12 Showcase brings you year-round coverage you won't get anywhere else. Big 12 Showcase, Fridays and Saturdays on FSN Southwest. Big 12 Instant Classic is brought to you by Lenny's Sub Shops. With over a half pound of meat and cheese on the regular Philly sub, stop in today. Dan Bailey will kick off for Oklahoma State with the wind at his back. Leon Patton and James Johnson, the two fine tailbacks for Kansas State, are deep to return it. Bailey steps into it, and homecoming is underway, and Bailey launches a rocket that goes out the end zone on the fly. How's that for a starting debut? Parrish Cox will get the start again at corner, replacing Martel Van Zandt. Josh Freeman, the big quarterback of the shotgun, throws a screen pass to the right side. It's caught by James Johnson out of the backfield. Scoots up beyond the 25, up to about the 27-yard line. James Johnson and Murphy split in the backfield. Josh Freeman in the shotgun on second and three. And Freeman back to pass, throws over the middle. The pass is caught for a first down at the 35, and Cedric Wilson carries tacklers up to the 37-yard line. Just his second catch for the junior from Fort Pierce, Florida, and it gains 10 yards before Parrish Cox made the tackle. First down, Kansas State. Donovan Woods had dropped back into coverage there and was oh so close to getting a hand on that ball. Just not quite there. That's a rifle from Freeman. Josh Freeman is 6'6 and 250 pounds. He's a true sophomore out of Kansas City, Missouri. First and 10 for his Wildcats from their own 37. He takes the shotgun snap, rolling out to his right, flings it down the right side. Man open, and it's dropped at the Cowboy 48, incomplete. Lamarck Brown, who's seen his playing time increase in the last couple of weeks, had a chance to make a catch for a big gain and dropped it. Incomplete, second and 10. Second and 10 from the Wildcat 37. Freeman back to pass, throws short over the middle. The ball goes off the hands of the receiver and falls incomplete. Again, Lamarck Brown had the ball in his hands. The pass was a bit high. It went off his outstretched hands over his head and then toppled end over end incomplete. Third down and 10 coming up for Kansas State at its own 37. Credit Jacob Lacey that time for hitting him just as soon as the ball got there. Cowboys brought both Levine and Donovan Woods on the blitz that time, but they, they were picked up. Freeman stepped up in the pocket, just put maybe a little too much on that one, too. Four wide receivers, two left and two right. Empty backfield, Freeman in the shotgun on third and ten. Blitz coming, hit as he throws, throws it down the right side. It's incomplete. He overthrew Jordy Nelson, who had a step on Parrish Cox at the Cowboy 40. But so much pressure was coming that Freeman's pass was off the mark, and Kansas State will punt. Crowd is into it. Nathan Peterson on a twist came on the inside and hit Freeman just as he let it go. Tim Ryer will punt it for Kansas State. Steps into it. Driving spiral into the wind. Fielded by Dantrell Savage at the 18. Spins, then falls down back at the 15-yard line. Marcus Watts made a heck of a play. Those safeties are way up on the line there, Dave. And Robinson back to pass. Play action. Throws it deep down the middle for a Darius Bowman. It's overthrown incomplete. Bowman had a step on the corner. Byron Garvin, the 5'9 senior. But Robinson's pass was a bit too far down the field. It'll be second and 10 for Oklahoma State. Two receivers left, one to the right. Second and 10, Oklahoma State from its own 16. We're scoreless here in Stillwater. About two minutes into the game. Robinson takes a shotgun snap, runs the option left, fakes, keeps it, cuts it back to the middle at the 15 and is hit at the line of scrimmage at the 16-yard line by Justin Rowland, the senior linebacker from Ponca City, Oklahoma. That's a nice play by the linebacker because Robinson faked out the first defender and then was hit hard and driven down for no gain. Disciplined effort that time by the K-State defense. They weren't over pursuing. Rowland was right where he was supposed to be. Kansas State thrives in this situation. Third and 10 for the Cowboys from their own 16. Wildcats 11th nationally in sacks, and the Cowboys throw a screen. Robinson finds Des Bryant right side to the 19 and dropped at the 20, some six yards shy of the first down by linebacker Reggie Walker. It'll be fourth down and six 
and the Cowboys will punt. And two very fast guys back there, Deion Murphy and Jordy Nelson, have each returned punts for touchdowns for Kansas State. Matt Fodge into punt for the Cowboys. He steps into it. A knuckleball, line drive, fielded by Murphy at the 43. Makes a cut to his right to the 45 and driven hard down right at the 45-yard line. First and 10 from their own 46. Josh Freeman now under center. One back set with James Johnson. Here's a quick drop by Freeman. Throws it out in the left flat. It's caught by the tight end to midfield and driven out of bounds. Michael Pushke, the senior from Lawton, gained four yards before Donovan Woods knocked him out of bounds on the far side. Freeman under center, hands it off to Johnson. Left side, hit at the line of scrimmage, and he falls forward for just a one-yard gain as Jeray Chatham came in from the interior of the Cowboy defensive line to make the stop. Third down and five coming up for Kansas State from the Cowboy 49. The Cowboys will use four down linemen. Third and a short five for Kansas State from the Cowboy 49. Freeman takes a shotgun snap, throws over the middle, the pass is caught by Murphy. First down to the 40 and tackled down at the Oklahoma State 38. A gain of 10 yards, Terrence Anderson made the tackle for Oklahoma State. Cowboys blitzed, Donovan Woods that time off the right side, the blind side, and he hits Freeman right after he lets it go, but couldn't get there in time. Again, that's part of the design of Kansas State's offense. You let it go in a hurry, that West Coast offense where you try to find guys on short routes and then let them pick up yards after the catch. Four minutes into this homecoming game, Kansas State ranked number 25 by the Associated Press, and Oklahoma State are scoreless. First and 10 Wildcats of the Cowboy 38. Freeman takes a shotgun snap, throws a screen to the left to Johnson, out of the backfield to the 35 30. First down and tackled at the Oklahoma State 27 by Patrick Levine, the Cowboy inside linebacker. Gain of 11. First down, Kansas State. You can see why they like him so much. That's uh, some pretty good footwork to get through there. Patrick Levine has to cover a lot of ground just to wrap him up and bring him down. First down, First down Kansas State from the Oklahoma State 27. Split backs. And Freeman in the game. Rather, Patton and James Johnson. Freeman in the shotgun. Takes a snap on first and 10. Drops back. Throws far side. Man open. It's caught. And knocked out of bounds at the 18 yard line. Daniel Gonzalez, the senior tight end, made the grab for a gain of nine. Second and one, K State from the Oklahoma State 19. High formation. Freeman under center. Hands it off to Patton, trying to turn the corner right side, makes a cut, runs behind his lineman, and scoots the ball up the field, maybe for a half yard to the Cowboy 18. Scoreless with 9.40 to play in the first. One back set with Johnson, Freeman under center, quick drop, quick throw, near side, it's caught. Short game, but a first down as Pushki made the catch and was tackled immediately by Andre Sexton. Two receivers left. Freeman under center, gets the snap, rolls out left, throws left side. It's caught by Jordy Nelson at the 10, pushing tacklers forward inside the five, and he's dropped at about the four and a half. So they have a second down and one from the Oklahoma State five. Freeman under center, one back set with Johnson. Tight end Pushki goes in motion, and Freeman hands it off to Johnson, left side, inside the two, and he pushes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas State. The big pile there at about the two-yard line. They had run a couple of guys in motion, and then you had a bunch of people on the left side of the line. He cuts it back inside the tackle. Parrish Cox, Ricky Price are both there. But uh, maybe a little bit of help from his offensive line and pushing him over the goal line. So Kansas State, as it's done the entire season, scores first. Now it's seven times in seven games that K-State is... Scored first. Extra point attempt on the way. Snap back, ball down. The kick by Brooks Rossman is good. Timeout, 825 left in the first. Kansas State with a very impressive scoring drive. Eight minutes and 25 seconds left to play. The Wildcats taking 54 yards to the end zone. It's 7-0 Kansas State over Oklahoma State. Cowboy football from Post Communications continues in a moment. Get ready. This weekend is Saw Weekend. Hello. Saw 4. Here we are. In theaters everywhere Friday.
What's for dinner? Treat the entire family to a Williams Big Box Special with lots of chicken. Get an eight-piece dark Big Box Special, just $5.99. There's plenty for seconds. Great value, quality, and flavor. Visit Williams Chicken. Taste the difference. The Wrangler Pro Rodeo Tour Ariat Playoffs. As rodeo's first ever postseason shifts to Omaha, only the world's toughest cowboys remain in a grueling 14-week battle for the championship crown and a share of a $1.6 million purse. Who will answer the bell? The Wrangler Pro Rodeo Tour Ariat Playoffs, Thursday on FSN. This week on the best damn sports show, period. Take an amazing catch. Oh, Tony Hawk has it! Oh, touchdown, Ram! And a spectacular play. Guys, the Bulls win! Mix in a hilarious blooper. Dude, are you all right? Then throw in an embarrassing blunder. Behind the bag, it gets through Buckner! You've got a whole week of our top 50 countdown shows you do not want to miss. This week at 11. Kansas State 7, Oklahoma State nothing. Nine plays at 54 yards for Kansas State on that scoring drive. Jared Parker will kick off for Kansas State. Parrish Cox and Tommy Devereaux deep to return it. Kicking it from left to right. End over end kick is short. Taken by Cox at the 8. To his right to the 15, to the 20. Makes a move to the 25 and is stopped at the 28. So a 20-yard return by Parrish Cox and the Cowboy offense, which went three plays and out on its first possession, will go on to the field for the second time behind 7-0 to number 25, Kansas State. First and 10, Zach Robinson under center, takes a snap, hands it off to Savage, off left guard, and he goes nowhere. No gain on the play. Reggie Walker, the linebacker, made the stop for K-State. Second and 10 coming up. Second and 10, Oklahoma State from its own 28. Robinson fakes a handoff, drops back to pass, under pressure, flushed, throws it down the right side, it's overthrown, incomplete, intended for Brandon Pettigrew at the Cowboy 45. Third and 10 Cowboys from their own 28. Two receivers right, one left. Robinson in the shotgun, one back set with Savage as Zach takes a snap on third and 10, drops back, throws over the middle, the pass is broken up, incomplete, at the 40-yard line, intended for Adarius Bowman. Chris Carney and Marcus Watts were there in coverage. Incomplete pass for the second time in two possessions. The offense goes three plays and out. Oklahoma State will punt. Thrown behind and a little bit low of Bowman, and Watts was right there. Some fans wanted a flag thrown there, but that was uh, that was going to be an incredible catch if he was going to be able to get a handle. Matt Bodge will punt for Oklahoma State. Gets the snap, steps into it. A wobbly punt angling toward the left sideline. Fielded by Murphy on the run to the 50, 40 down the left sideline, 30, and knocked out of bounds inside the Cowboy 30 at the Oklahoma State 25-yard line. A line drive knuckleball punt by Fodge. It was angling toward the right sideline, but was not struck cleanly, and Murphy, who has 4-3 speed in the 40-yard dash, took it on a dead run and just outran everybody down the left sideline before he was knocked out of bounds at the 25. Yeah, he didn't need a return to set up. He just had too much open space. Not a good punt by Fodge. No, he's had two poor punts so far. 31-yard punt, 34-yard return. It's already 7-0 Kansas State, and the Wildcats have a first and 10 from the Oklahoma State 25. Two tight ends, one back set, Freeman under center. Cowboys show the blitz, and here they come. Freeman back to pass, hit as he throws, throws over the middle, it's incomplete. At the five-yard line intended for Dion Murphy. Second and 10, Kansas State from the Cowboy 25. Freeman under center, takes a snap, pitches it to Johnson, left side, makes a cut to the 23, takes it down the left sideline and is knocked down at the Oklahoma State 18, a gain of seven. Had a big punt return by Dion Murphy to set up this chance. Freeman takes a low shotgun snap, throws the inside screen to Jordy Nelson, wide open to the 10, to the five, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas State. Great call, the perfect call against the Blitz this time, and we've seen the Cowboys get burned by this before this season. Nelson doesn't need much space, and he had plenty of room there to cover the ground. Brooks Rossman in for the extra point. Try to make it 14-0 Kansas State. 
627 left in the first. Good snap, ball down, kick on the way, and it's good. Timeout. Kansas State 14, Oklahoma State nothing. Jared Parker will kick off for Kansas State. We have an update on Nathan Peterson's injury. We'll get to that in a moment. Line drive kickoff, angling toward the left side, fielded by Tommy Devereaux at the 2. To his right to the 10, 15, and tackled at the 19. For an update on Cowboy defensive end Nathan Peterson, let's go down to Robert Allen. Yeah, guys, uh, Nate looks like he's he's okay. They're uh, looking at the left ankle. They're going to retape it and think they're going to give it a go. So we'll see how it goes. But he doesn't look to be in pain, and they are uh, working again on that ankle. Hey, one other thing, we're the Cowboy sidelines very calm. Uh, nobody looks like they're panicked, and we are experiencing the hidden agenda in reverse. Yes, we are. The hidden agenda was Kansas State starting fast as they have throughout this season. Robert was calling for the Cowboys to do that instead. That's not been the case. First and 10 from the 20. Robinson under center takes a snap, hands it off to Savage. Big hole to his left to the 25 to the 30 and tackled at the 33 yard line. A gain of 13. Dantrell Savage found a huge hole on the left side. And the Cowboys pick up a first down as Ray Cheatham made the tackle for K-State. Dave Koenig with a great block up front and left guard that helped open that hole. It's Cowboy offense, one of the nation's best. 14 points, not a huge deal. Bigger deal against this defense than many others, though, because K-State defensively is quite good. First and 10, Oklahoma State from its own 33. Robinson takes a snap, pitches it to Savage, right side to the 35, 40, down the right sideline, 45, and finally bucked down at the Cowboy 49-yard line. Marcus Watts finally tackled Dantrell Savage, but a big first and another big gain and a Cowboy first down. Entire line moves right. You had a bunch of receivers and tight end over there on the right side, all bunched up. You take it where the pile is and let Savage find a hole. Savage has gained 29 yards on two carries on this drive. First and 10 Cowboys from their own 49. They trail Kansas State 14-0 with 535 left in the first. Zach Robinson under center, out of the eye. Robinson runs the option left, pitches it to Savage. A blocker in front to the 45 of Kansas State and tackled at the Wildcat 44. Second down and three, Oklahoma State from the Kansas State 44. This drive started for the Cowboys at their own 20. One back set, Robinson back to pass, sets up, throws it deep down the middle, and the pass is intercepted. Intercepted at the goal line by Kansas State. It'll be a touchback. Byron Garvin intercepted the pass intended for Adarius Bowman on a post pattern, and Oklahoma State turns it over. Bowman stumbled just a bit as he was completing the route and actually was not in perfect position. Garvin played that ball perfectly. That's the 13th interception by the Kansas State defense this year. Leon Patton in the backfield. Freeman under center, bunch formation right. K-State first and 10 from its own one. And Freeman, quick drop, quick throw, far side, and the pass is incomplete. Oh, it went man. in and out of the hands of Jordy Nelson and then in and out of the hands of Parrish Cox, who would have returned it for a touchdown had he hung on. Incomplete pass, it'll be second and 10. Wow, you look at it on the replay on the big screen. He never had it. Parrish Cox waited off to make a hit, and it hit off the helmet and his shoulder pad as Parrish Cox is trying to make the play. He's been around the ball so much yes. lately, Dave. Second and 10, Kansas State from its own one. Kansas State leads Oklahoma State 14-0. 4.38 left in the first at Stillwater. The paddle people pounding the pads near the K-State offense as Freeman hands it off to the tailback, and he's hit and stopped for a one-yard gain. Donovan Woods lifted up Leon Patton and gave him a mini body slam after a gain of one. It'll be third and nine. But it looked like that corner might be open a little bit. Donovan Woods stepped right into position. You're right, Dave. Lifted him by both legs. <laughs> That's some strength right there. He is a chiseled young man at 230 pounds. Kansas State with its most difficult third down situation of the night. Third and nine. Kansas State from its own two and a half. Three receivers left, one to the right. Freeman in the shotgun. Play 
clock down to two, down to one. Play clock expires, but he gets the snap. Throws far side, and the pass is incomplete. He underthrew Deion Murphy at the 25-yard line. Fourth and nine, and K-State will punt from its own three. Tim Ryers, a fine punter, standing near the end line to punt it away. To Dantrell Savage, good snap, and a booming spiral into the wind. Savage drifts back, takes it at his 47. Beers to his left, hit, bounces free, hit again at his own 45, and then spun backwards. Dantrell Savage broke one tackle but could not break a second. A 53-yard punt, another good punt by Ryer. Hands it off to Hunter. Up the middle, makes a cut to his left to midfield. Stutter steps beyond the 45 and tackled at the Kansas State 44. Kendall Hunter made a cut, then sidestepped another would-be tackler and gained 11. And an Oklahoma State first down for the K-State 44. Thinking one, two, three moves ahead. Little shoulder faint there. Faked out Justin McKinney. First and 10, Oklahoma State from the Kansas State 44. Cowboys took it into K-State territory on their last possession before Robinson was intercepted at the goal line on a deep pass. On first and 10, Robinson hands it off to Hunter, off right guard to the 41, breaks a tackle at the 40, and carries a tackler down to the K-State 39. Gain of five. Robinson now goes to the shotgun. Hunter in a one-back set to his right. It's second down and five yards to go for Oklahoma State from the Kansas State 39 as they go from east to west on this drive. Robinson takes a snap, keeps it on the zone read to the 35-30, cuts to his right to the 25 and tackled at the K-State 22. It almost looked like a rugby play. Robinson and Hunter both had it for a moment. Zach finally pulled the ball away and took it for a big gain of about 17 yards. I think he's been eyeing that one just as he eyed that big hole up the middle at Lincoln last week when he finally kept it on that zone read and went right up the middle of the field. They give him 15 yards down to the Kansas State 24. First and 10, Oklahoma State. Dantrell Savage returns at tailback. Des Bryant split left to Darius Bowman right. Robinson takes a snap, hands it off to Savage, hit in the backfield and tackled for about a three-yard loss back at the 27 by safety Gary Chandler. Wildcats lead the Cowboys 14-0 late in the first. High formation. Darius Bowman and Des Bryant split left. Brandon Pettigrew is a tight end on the right side. Robinson hands it off to Savage. Off left guard to the 25, and he carries tacklers down to the K-State 24. Three-yard gain. Ian Campbell, the all-Big 12 defensive end, the first man to make contact. Cowboys have had two third-down situations, both third and ten. This is their third. It's also third and ten. Cowboys have yet to convert a third down tonight. From the Kansas State 24, Robinson gets the shotgun snap, sets up, throws it deep down the near side for Des Bryant, and he makes a leaping catch in the end zone! Pistols firing! Touchdown! Des Bryant! The Cowboys recruited Des Bryant for specifically these kind of plays. 6-2, incredible athleticism, ability to get up in the air, big hands, and when you match him up on a 5-9 corner like Justin McKinney, he's going to win these type, type of jump balls. A huge play for the Cowboy offense. That's the thing about Kansas State's corners. They're good cover guys, but both of them are only 5 feet 9 inches tall, and as you said, John, a great point. That height really hurt him. Ricks in for the point after, snap back, ball down, the kick on the way, and it's good. A big answer touchdown for Oklahoma State, and the Kansas State lead has been cut to 14-7. To has returned to the game as well. First and 10, K-State, low shotgun snap, fielded by Freeman, shows up, throws over the middle, caught by Jordy Nelson for a short gain as he was hit immediately at the 15, three yards on the pickup as Patrick Levine made the tackle from his inside linebacker position. So critical against this style of an offense. If they make the grab, you have to wrap them up. You need to shut down the yards after catch when you're playing Kansas State. You've seen a couple of low snaps. We've seen them, rather. And that's because Trevor Veers got his first start at center for the Wildcats against Colorado. He replaces the injured Jordan Bedore. And Veers played defensive end and tackle last year for K-State. So he's getting a baptism by fire. 
One quarter in the books here in Stillwater. It's Kansas State 14, Oklahoma State 7. We'll pause on the Cowboy Radio Network. The best of the Big 12 Conference is on Big 12 Showcase. Only Big 12 Showcase takes you on location every week for unparalleled coverage of all the athletic programs from across the conference. From the latest news and highlights to exclusive features and interviews, no one is more dedicated to the Big 12 than FSN. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, Big 12 Showcase brings you year-round coverage you won't get anywhere else. Big 12 Showcase, Fridays and Saturdays on FSN Southwest. Win ESPN's The House Sweepstakes, and every day is game day. Every day? Every day. We'll transform your home into the ultimate ESPN football destination so you'll experience game day every day. Local winners get an ESPN MVP chair. Enter for your chance to win ESPN's The House Every Day is Game Day Sweepstakes at Experience Game Day. Every day? Every day. ESPN The House is brought to you locally by Guts Church Nightmare and by Chris Nickel Commercial Truck Division, where service comes standard. We you know that wetlands are one of the world's most valuable places. I'm Morgan Freeman speaking on behalf of Ducks Unlimited, the world's leader in wetlands and waterfowl conservation. Wetlands benefit everyone by filtering and cleaning our water. Wetlands trap and slow floodwaters. Wetlands provide you a location for hunting, fishing, boating, and a place to enjoy nature. Help Ducks Unlimited by supporting its Wetlands for Tomorrow campaign. Ducks Unlimited. Conservation today. Wetlands. For tomorrow. Cowboys Insider, Wednesday night at 10 on FSN Southwest. Start of the second quarter here in Stillwater, Kansas State 14, OSU 7. Tonight's stats brought to you by Oklahoma Propane through one quarter. KSU with 102 yards on 21 plays. The Cowboys 16 plays for 95. Josh Freeman 10 of 16 for the Wildcats, 85 yards. While uh, Dentro Savage six carries for 36. Des Bryant with a touchdown catch. K State on second and seven. A throw over the middle. It's caught by Jordy Nelson. First down to the 23 and tackled at the K State 25 by Ricky Price. Josh Freeman under center. One back set with James Johnson on first and ten. And Freeman back to pass. Throws deep over the middle. The pass is caught. 45 ball comes loose in Cowboy territory and who's recovered it at the 46 of Oklahoma State Kansas State has Jaron Mestrude made the catch ball was knocked loose but K-State recovers it at the Oklahoma State 46 Michael Pushki another tight end fell on it gain of 29 yards at a Kansas State first down from the Oklahoma State 46 Jacob Lacey in coverage was right over the top of Mastrude but just missed time his swat at the ball otherwise he'd had a pass breakup he was in good coverage first and 10 Kansas State from the Cowboy 46 Freeman under center James Johnson in a one-back set. Freeman gets a snap, fakes a handoff, drops back under pressure, flings it deep down the near side, caught by Jordy Nelson, wide open, and he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas State. Nelson lost Parrish Cox on that corner. And Freeman, let's give him some credit. We talked about how he likes to get rid of it quickly if he sees pressure. This time, he throws it off his back foot, and that's how wide open Nelson was. He had five yards on Parrish Cox. 46-yard touchdown throw and catch. And Kansas State, just like that, is back up by two scores. Brooks Rossman in for the extra point. Snap back, ball down, kick on the way, and it's good. That's an 88-yard drive in four plays by Kansas State. 14-01 left in the second. Kansas State 21, Oklahoma State 7. Wildcats will kick off from right to left. Jared Parker will kick it off. Right-footed soccer-style kicker hits a low end-over-end kick taken by Parrish Cox. Right side at the 2, to his left to the 10. Wedge in front to the 15, bounces to the outside to the 20. Makes a cut at the 25, reverses this field to the 30. 35, 40, down the center of the field at midfield. He may go all the way. Parrish Cox, 30, 20. Good night, Vienna. A 99-yard kickoff return by Parrish Cox. Set up to the left side. He started that way. Got a couple of good blocks. And credit Parrish Cox, who got burned for the touchdown on a previous play. He saw, he had the vision to cut it back across the field. Then you saw the speed from the sophomore. No one could touch it. Oh, and you talk about cutting into the pride of the Wildcats. Dan Bailey will kick off for the Cowboys. Into 
to the wind. Left to right. High, short, end over end kick. Taken by Patton on the run at the 17. Straight ahead to the 25, and he is wrestled down at the 33. Let's go down to the sideline and Robert Allen. Robert. Had a great view of that, guys. And kickoff returns, there's got to be a little bit of degree of luck built in. Parrish Cox did a hurdle at the 15, 16-yard line that got him clear of one tackler. And then I don't know how it happened because it's not by design, but at the 30-yard line, when he cut back to the press box side of the field, he had a wall of four blockers right there that sealed off anything left from Kansas State. And okay, I can guarantee you, I've seen the kickoff return designs. They're not supposed to be there, but they were. But sometimes the Improvisation is what matters, my friend. Thank you very much, Robert. Kansas State first and 10 from their own 33. Wildcats 21, Cowboys 14. Josh Freeman under center. Takes the snap, drops back to pass, throws near side, incomplete. In the left flat, it was intended for the tight end, Michael Pushke. Wildcats 21, Cowboys 14. Freeman under center. Fumbles a snap. The ball is loose, and Freeman fall, falls on it at the line of scrimmage. No gain. Empty backfield. The 6'6", 250-pound sophomore quarterback is in the pocket by himself, awaiting the shotgun snap. Cowboys will rush four. Freeman gets a snap, sets up, throws over the middle. The pass is incomplete at midfield. Intended for Jaron Mastrude, and he had a defender draped all over him. Incomplete pass, and Kansas State will punt it on fourth and ten. Patrick Levine back in pass coverage had him walled off, and it was not a face guarding sort of situation. As we look at the replay on the big screen here, Freeman's locked in on him the whole way, and Freeman and Le uh, actually Levine running right down the hash marks. Rayer punts it away, and this is a rocket, a beautiful spiral down the left side, taken by Savage at the 12. Breaks a tackle there. Makes a cut to the 15 and drop there. Boy, Rayer with another terrific punt came into the game leading the Big 12 in punting, and that's a 54-yard punt with the wind at his back. The balance by Savage allowed him to just pick his way forward for about five yards, but you're right, the coverage there and the punt was just tremendous by Kansas State. Chance now to put back-to-back -back scoring drives on the board here for the Cowboys. You have hit them with big plays. The way Kansas State plays defense, they are susceptible to big plays. Yes, they are. Cowboys, first and 10 from their own 15. Kansas State leads 21-14 early in the second. Zach Robinson under center, fakes a handoff, drops back, throws near side, and the ball is dropped by Darius Bowman, incomplete. But the Cowboy 25, he would have had a first down. That throw was down toward his lower leg, maybe just above the ankles, and was a tough play for Bowman, and he fails to hold on. It'll be second and 10. Yeah, really tough ball. In fact, it was down at about ankle level. Now, Zach Robinson has struggled just a bit. He's two out of seven throwing it now for 27 yards. He does have the one TD throw. Second and 10, Oklahoma State from its own 15. Out of the eye, Robinson takes a snap, pitches it to Savage. Room to run to the 19, to the 20, and dropped at the 21. Gain of six, Chris Carney, the safety made the tackle. Third and four, Oklahoma State from its own 21. These are two of the most penalized teams in college football, yet we've not had a penalty yet tonight. Robinson in the shotgun, takes a snap, sets up, throws over the middle, the pass is broken up incomplete. At the 31-yard line intended for Jeremy Broadway, an excellent coverage by Kansas State. And the Oklahoma State offense, who really needed to try to move the ball down the field and tie the score is three plays and out as Brian Baldwin, the senior out of St. Louis, made a good play. Then the ball was thrown a little bit, did not lead Jeremy Broadway. Just a little bit behind him. You know, we've seen Zach struggle in the passing game at the beginning of some games recently this year. Last weekend, notwithstanding, so it's not unusual for a bit of a slow start. Matt Fodge into punt, gets the snap, steps into it. This is a better kick, a spiral angling toward the near sideline, and it goes out of bounds on the fly. That's the way you do it. You keep the Kansas State return men from even having, even having a chance. And they're walking up the near sideline to the 37, where they say it went out of bounds. But nonetheless, that's a 42-yard punt and no return. 11.44 left in the second. Kansas State will have the ball, leading Oklahoma State 21 to 14. Cowboy football for most communications continues in a moment.
Wherever you are, you'll love it at Lenny's, where sandwiches are made fresh from the deli case, hand sliced to order one slice at a time every time, and piled high on fresh bread baked daily. Home to the Philly cheesesteak. Our regular is served with over half a pound of meat and cheese. There's over 25 subs, sandwiches, and salads to choose from. More food, more taste, more personality. Lenny's, your neighborhood sub shop. Welcome to ChevyPrepTicket.com, your source for the latest news, scores, and highlights from high school sports. From marching bands to drill teams and cheerleaders, Chevy Prep Ticket has it all. Sign up for free to easily upload pictures and videos. Athletes can now create their own homepage for college recruiting. Chevy Prep Ticket will follow your favorite teams and players from the season opener all the way through the playoffs. Log on now and join the fun at ChevyPrepTicket.com. Sunday night, only on FSN. Be there for the show that breaks down the new BCS standings. The official BCS rating show, exclusively on FSN. Find out who's moving up, who's moving out, and who's moving on towards a berth in a BCS bowl game. Get the numbers as soon as they break. The official BCS rating show, Sunday on FSN. at Boone Pickens Stadium in Stillwater. Kansas State with the ball, leading 21 to 14 over the Cowboys. On first and 10, Freeman back to pass, throws deep over the middle, it's incomplete. At the Oklahoma State 42, off the hands of the tight end, Jaron Mastrude. Now Freeman under center, two receivers left, one right on second and 10. Throws a wide receiver screen to the left side, it's caught by Gonzalez, down the left sideline to the 45, and wrestled out of bounds at the Cowboy 49 yard line and we may have a face mask penalty on top of that it's exactly what it looked like up here personal foul face mask number 17 in defense 15 yard penalty first down you know the first penalty of the game is costly take the ball all the way from the cowboy 49 down to the oklahoma state 34. yeah that's a good call and Calvin i think mickens. they got the wrong guy it wasn't lacy it was mickens yep so Kansas State, first and 10 from the Oklahoma State 34. Wildcats lead the Cowboys 21 to 14. 11-22 left in the second quarter. Josh Freeman under center, takes a snap. Pressure coming, throws short, right side. Pass is caught by Pushki to the 30. Ball comes loose at the 30-yard line, and the Cowboys have recovered! What a play, what a play. I think he popped it loose with his helmet. As we take a look at the replay on the big screen, they blitzed Donovan Woods, and he was picked up. Levine in coverage. Moore stuck a helmet right on the football, and it fell right below the receiver. Moore knocks it loose and scoops it up. Terrific individual play by Quinn Moore. So now each team has a turnover. Boy, that's another big play. Oklahoma State first and 10 from its own 30. Two receivers right, one left. Robinson in the shotgun with Dantrell Savage in a one-back set to his right. Robinson takes a snap, runs the option left side. Big hole, 35 to the 40. Makes a cut to the outside to the 45 and tackled at the Cowboy 46. Gain of 16 yards before Byron Garvin made the play. First down, Oklahoma State. If you have enough speed to get to the edge and you have somebody picking up their rushers, you're going to pop big plays like this. And that's exactly what happened there. Kansas State came hard from both ends and the Cowboys picked it up. Zach Robinson, enough speed to get around. First and 10 from the Cowboy 46. Hand off to Savage, trying to turn the corner right side, and he's dropped for no gain. And then uh, hopefully I can, you know, continue with it beginning of next season. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Second and 11, Zach Robinson keeps it on the zone read. Off right guard to midfield and dropped at the 48-yard line of Kansas State. A gain of about seven. They'll set up third and four. Chris Patterson, the reserve linebacker, with the tackle for Kansas State. One of the interior linemen for Kansas State got spun around and lost sight of where Zach Robinson was. Critical third down for the Cowboy offense, though, here. You want to keep some momentum going. You've gotten a turnover. You have to make something out of it to win games like this. Cowboys are one for four on third downs, and Adarius Bowman 
who leads the Cowboys in receptions, an All-America candidate, has yet to make a catch. Play clock down to three. Robinson takes a shotgun snap, hands it off to Savage, up the middle to the 45, and he pushes the pile forward, I believe, for a first down or very close beyond the 44 of Kansas State, down to about the 43 and a half. He's really close. Well, really, really close. Yeah, they'll, they'll give, give it to him. You know those off-season workouts that Dantrell told us before the season started? He muscled up so much in his legs, he needed new size of pants. <laughs> Came in handy there. The uh, off-season workouts, not the pants. <laughs> I understand. Although, maybe both. Well, you never know. Those sure, orange pants are sure. magic. <laughs> First and 10, Oklahoma State from the Kansas State 43. Cowboys down 21-14, but on the move. Robinson takes a snap under center, hands it off to Savage up the middle. He gains three as the hole closed, closed quickly. Marcus Watts, the safety, dropped him along with Ian Campbell. Three receivers left, one to the right. Now Seth Newton goes in motion. They make a diamond formation left. Robinson throws it to Newton. It's a double pass. He throws it deep down the middle for Adarius Bowman. The pass is broken up at the five-yard line. Bowman had major steps on the defender, and Newton, the high school quarterback, made a great throw against Texas Tech, and he'd like to have that one over. That was well underthrown. If he makes a good throw, it's a touchdown. Watts recognized late, but credit him. He fought back. Now, he didn't exactly play the ball, but he did get his hand up at the exact right time when the ball got there. He had so much room to cover. That's why I guess they didn't call face guarding is because yeah. he just stuck his hand up at the last second because he knew he wasn't close enough. Well, if he puts anything more on that pass, it's a touchdown. It's exactly. too bad. Exactly. Well, he's had one great throw and one that wasn't so good. That's, that's probably more than you can expect from a wide receiver. Swirling win. Cowboys third and seven from the K-State 40. Robinson back to pass. Throws over the middle. Caught by Bowman. First down to the 30. Down the right side and tackled inside the Kansas State 25 at the 24-yard line. A gain of 16 before Brian Bowman made the stop. First down, Oklahoma State. Confident in the pocket. Zach Robinson delivered that one right on the money. It had been a little off for most of the first half, but that one, a critical throw right where they needed it. First and 10, Oklahoma State from the K-State 24. Robinson hands it off to Savage, spinning through tacklers and bullies his way back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe gained a yard. John Hulick with the stop for K-State. Second and nine. Cowboys from the K-State 23. Robinson takes a shotgun snap, runs the option left. He'll keep it inside the 20 and tackled all the way down at the K-State 15. Marcus Watts made the stop, but Zach Robinson didn't go turbo there. He went mini turbo with a nice surge, gaining about seven yards. It'll be third and about two. Good decision for Zach. Five carries, 47 yards for him, but another good decision. He cut inside of Campbell, who was playing the pitch man. You got big guys in now. Crossland, Zach Carter. Third and two Cowboys in the K-State 15. Cowboys break the huddle quickly. Jumbo formation. Now Robinson looks to the sideline to get the play. On third and about two. Robinson hands it off to Crossland up the middle. Oh. And he pulls his way forward near a first down. I think he's just beyond the 14. We'll see. Boy, he is close. Off right guard. Crossland took a big blow. I don't know if he got it or not. We may measure. It was that linebacker, Justin Rowland, out of Ponca City, who came up there and made the hit. That was a nice job by Rowland, too. Now that's a 245-pounder delivering a momentum-stopping blow on a 240-pound back. Did he stop him before he got the first down? That's to be determined as they bring the chains out. They're going to pull him good and tight. Did he get it? Boy, it's close. Did he get it? They have to look at it closely. They're still looking wow. at it. They're looking at it a third time. First down. I thought we were going to have to send this up to the replay booth. <laughs> he had to go all the way down to the nose of the football and get his nose down to the nose to make that decision. Get nosy. 
my sinuses go wacky. First and 10, Oklahoma State from the K-State 14. Cowboys trying to tie the game with a touchdown. Robinson pitches it to Savage, running on the right side, hit at the line of scrimmage and spun out of bounds at the 14. The fans wanted a face mask penalty and didn't get it. Second and 10, Cowboys from the Kansas State 14. Robinson under center. Gets the snap, fakes a handoff, drops back, throws. The pass is incomplete, and Darius Bowman was interfered with at the goal line and will have a penalty against Kansas State. That was a touchdown if interference doesn't occur, and Garvin hit Bowman as the ball before the ball arrived, and it'll be pass interference against Kansas State. Pretty easy call there for the officials now. They uh, huddle to make sure they get everything correct, but there's no question this will be on the Wildcats. Pass interference, number six of the defense. Ball be placed at the two. First to goal. That's a big deal because they say the interference occurred in the end zone, which automatically takes the ball down to the two-yard line where it'll be first and goal for the Cowboys. But it actually didn't happen there. If you want to get technical yeah. about it, Bowman was at the two. In between the one and the two-yard line when it got interfered with. Got to punch this one in. That's the first penalty for Kansas State tonight. First and goal, Cowboys in the K-State 2. Hand off to Crossland, right side. Hit in the backfield and stuffed. No gain on that attempt by Julius Crossland. Jumbo formation. Second and goal from the two. Hand off to Crossland. Tried to leap into the end zone and he didn't get in. He stopped about a half yard shy of the goal line. It'll be third and goal from there. Crossland at 245 pounds tried to leap into the end zone. I doubt the coaches will be happy about that decision. That's not really what they teach. He took off from between the three and the four, it looked like. Or just inside of the three yeah. yard line. That, that's too long, yeah. too far to have to leap. Kansas State 21, Oklahoma State 14. Cowboys third and goal from the K-State one. Jumbo package again. Robinson hands it off to Crossland, runs into a pile at the line of scrimmage, trying to pull his way forward. He didn't get in. It'll be fourth and goal from the Kansas State one. Now what do you do? Well, you know, you want to establish yourself here. You'd love to tie it up. And it looks like they may go for it right here. It's fourth and goal from the K-State one. Savage comes in at tailback. They'd love to run the bootleg, but they're going off the right hash mark, which makes that bootleg play going to the short side of the field. That's not an ideal situation. Fourth and goal from the one for Oklahoma State. Offset eye, Robinson pitches it to Savage. Running on the right side, he leaps and he didn't get in. He tried to leap into the end zone, and he didn't get in. And I'll tell you the truth, John, if he stays on his feet, I think he scores. I think you're right, Dave. I think you're going to look back at this if you're the Cowboys and say, stay on your feet. Not just this play. Roland no, got in there not. again. Roland got in there again. Let's give Kansas State some credit. They defended that perfectly. Roland, the big man there for the Wildcats. So four tries on first and goal from the Kansas State two. And Oklahoma State doesn't get in. K-State first and 10 from their own one after a goal line stand. Freeman, quick drop, hesitates, throws over the middle, incomplete. Boy, he threw that. I have no idea where he was going. I think he was going to his tight end again. Mastrude. Mastrude, but it was three yards to the left of him. Closest people there were a couple of Cowboys secondary players, including Parrish Cox. Boy, Parrish Cox, he had to be in that spot where he was. But if he takes two steps to his left and positions himself there, he might have an interception. Kansas State has just stopped Oklahoma State at the goal line. The Wildcats hold on to their 21-14 lead. 3.53 left in the first half. Second and 10, K-State from their own one. Freeman under center. Hands it off to the tailback straight ahead. And Johnson scoots up for about three yards, up to the four. It'll be third and seven from there. Third and seven. Kansas State from its own four. Single receivers left and right. Freeman takes a snap, under pressure, scrambling to his right, dumps it off to Johnson out of the backfield to the 10, has a first down to the 11, and is dropped at the, Cow at the Kansas State 14. 
gain of 10. First down, Kansas State. Well, he bought time. Cowboys blitzed it, and fighting through there was Mo Cummings. He got tripped up just as he was getting to Freeman. Otherwise, he'd have been able to put more pressure on Josh Freeman. First and 10, Kansas State from its own 14. Wildcats 21, Cowboys 14. Bunch formation right, Freeman under center. Jordy Nelson split left, and Freeman hands it off to Johnson. Flag comes down as Johnson runs on the right side, gaining eight yards to the 22. Andre Sexton made the tackle. We'll see what that flag's all about. Got to guess that it's a hold on the Wildcats. Kansas State leads the nation in penalty yards per game. They still lead the nation despite being better in that category the last three weeks. They had a ton of penalties early. Illegal shift on the offense. Two minutes in motion in time. Five yard penalty, first down. Now it's first and 15 for Kansas State from its own nine. Freeman under center, drops back to pass, sets up, throws it short. The pass is incomplete off the hands of Patton. It fluttered in the air and falls incomplete, and Donovan Woods is almost able to reach up and intercept that pass. It'll be second and 15 for K-State. Wow. Patton should have made that catch. That was not a bad throw. It looked kind of sudden. It looks to me, John, like Freeman gets what we call happy feet back in that pocket. Looks like there might be any pressure coming. He starts bouncing his feet around. Sometimes he'll throw off his wrong foot. That's probably why he throws those interceptions in predictable passing situations. He's in the shotgun and taking the snap on second and 15. All kinds of time. Now flush from the pocket. Throws right side. The pass is caught at the 22 and driven out of bounds right at the 22-yard line. Cedric Wilson. Third and one. K-State from its own 23. Cowboys eight in the box. The snap is fumbled. It's loose. And who has it at the 21-yard line? K-State's recovered, but for a loss of two. And the Wildcats will have to punt, and the Cowboys still have all three timeouts left. And they'll take one right now. Remember, that's Trevor Veers. Wow, there, who is, the clock continues to run. Oh, I thought the but, Cowboys well, took a timeout. The, line, the linesman said it had waved his hands as if to stop the clock. So there should be about nine more seconds. Maybe 207, 206. It's at 159 stop now. As I was saying, Trevor Veer is making just his Oklahoma second start. State. Their first time out of the half, it will be a 30-second timeout. Please set the game clock to 2.07. There you go. That's what I thought. You've got a chance now for all of the kind of sloppiness to a degree on offense. If you can handle this one and get it back, you've got a chance to go in tied at halftime. Tim Rayer punts a line drive taken by Savage. He dropped it at the 42, picks it up, but he can't pick it up because he was down. When he, when he dropped the ball at the 42, he was on his knees when he scooped it up and tried to take off with it. There is a flag down. Flag Field down judge threw it and then threw it twice up near midfield. But they think he's just going to say that Dantrell was down. I don't know. On the return, holding. Number six of the receiver. Ten yard penalty. First down. And the Cowboys are the ones who've come up with a big play in the return game in special teams. An area where K-State felt it had an advantage coming in. Out of the eye on first and ten. Robinson fakes a handoff. Drops back. Sets up. Now flush in the pocket. Scrambling to his right. Turns a corner 35. 40. And knocked out of bounds at the 43. He gained 11 yards and an Oklahoma State first down. Justin McKinney knocked him out of bounds. But good scrambling by Zach Robinson there to pick up the first down yardage. And it works as well as you get a first down and you don't have to burn a timeout. Not that you were going to on this play anyway. But it stops the clock. Zach Robinson is the leading ball carrier for Oklahoma State. Has 58 yards on six rushes. Three receivers left, one to the right. You've got Pettigrew and Bowman split left with Seth Newton. Single receiver to the right side. Jeremy Broadway on first and 10. Robinson throws a wide receiver screen. Left side, Bowman to midfield. 45 down the left sideline to the 40. 35 and finally knocked out of bounds at the Kansas State 29-yard line. Just the wide receiver screen to the left flat. Gains 27 
10 yards in an Oklahoma State first down at the Kansas State 29. Brandon Pettigrew with a great block on the inside of the play. Seth Newton took care of his man on the outside of the play. You know, it's like a broken record, but we talk about it every week. The downfield blocking by the receivers is tre tremendous for the Cowboys. Kendall Hunter now in a tailback for Oklahoma State. Robinson in the shotgun on first and 10. Zach takes a snap, runs the option, pitches it to Hunter. Right side to the 25, still in his feet to the 22. And dropped just beyond the 22, a gain of seven. Cowboys will take a timeout with a minute 30 left. So it's 21-14, Kansas State. Oklahoma State's on the move, second and three from the Kansas State 22. Robinson gets a shotgun snap, pumps, throws far side, leaping catch made by Bowman to the 15 and knocked out of bounds on the far sideline at the 10-yard line of Kansas State. A gain of 10, Justin McKinney in coverage, and Adarius Bowman now, after not catching a ball in the first quarter and a half, has grabbed three balls, two on this drive. That's a great catch by Bowman, too. I'm sure he might credit the uh, LASIK procedure he had during the offseason a little bit for that one. That one, he had to reach up to grab it, snared it with both hands. Cowboys were stuffed on first and goal from the K-State 2 a moment ago. Now it's first and goal from the Kansas State 10. Bowman split right, Des Bryant left. They've got those 5-9 corners out there. Will you take a shot at it? And Robinson does. Floats it toward the far corner of the end zone, and the pass is incomplete on Dino for Des Bryant. He got his legs taken out from under him there, and he's gotten knocked out of bounds on the sideline. So I'd love to see what we see on the replay here. Dave, perfect call. You throw the fade. He goes up in the end zone over the defensive back. He's knocked up in the air a little bit. His legs fall out of bounds. You know, that's a judgment call by the official as to whether you push him out, you force him out, and whether you're going to give him credit for being able to come down. Might do the same thing again. Bryant lined up on the left side of the formation well, they got against watched. Justin McKinney, who's 5'9". And watch the safety is over there, too. Second and goal. Robinson runs the option. Right side picks up two and then is drilled down hard by Reggie Walker, the linebacker. It'll be third and goal for the Kansas State 8. You really need points on this drive. You can overcome being stuffed one time inside their five by good defense, but you have to come out of here with some points. Third and goal, Oklahoma State from the Kansas State 8, John. Down to 49 seconds left. May see that fade route again, but the quarterback just steps back and floats it toward the end zone. But formation-wise, they're not lined up that way. They've got a bunch formation to the right. One back set with Dantrell Savage. No receiver split out. Robinson fakes a handoff on third and goal. Sets up, flings it toward the end zone incomplete. He just threw it away. He was under heavy pressure. The Cowboys will have to kick a field goal. And it looked like Bowman wasn't quite sure of where he was supposed to go, right? exactly what the play was there. He turned toward the sideline with his hands out right before Zach snapped the ball. Rick's on the season, six out of 10 in field goals. Cole Reynolds will hold. Zach Allen will snap it. Snap good, ball down, kick on the way. It's high and long, and it's good. So with 26 seconds left in the first half, the Cowboys kept the Kansas State lead to 21-17. to They'll go to the I formation. Freeman under center, first and 10. Hands it off to Pat. Makes a cut in the backfield. Darts up for about three yards to the 34, and that may be the last play of the first half. Cowboys will have the ball to start the second half. And frankly, fortunate to be behind only 21-17. Let's go down to the field. Robert Allen's going to catch up with Cowboy head coach Mike Gundy. K-State up 21-17. Well, we've caught up with Mike Gundy. Your thoughts on the first half? Well, we have to do a better job of running the ball, and we got to toughen up down inside the five-yard line. we got to be able to score and get those guys, knock them off the ball, and get the ball in the end zone when we're down there. All right, good luck second half. Thank you. Let's go back upstairs, Dave and John. It's a type of thing where you do really want to show you can out-physical the team. Yes. Because you can out-scheme them, you can out-quick them, and the Cowboys have plenty of weapons, but when it comes down to it, you can take some of the will out of an opposing team if you can match it in the end zone. Unfortunately, the Cowboys couldn't do it. One half in the books on homecoming 2007 in Stillwater. It's Kansas State 21, Oklahoma State 17. Coming up, it's the Dodge Halftime Report. When Cowboy football from host communications continues in a moment. The Big 12 online store is the fast and easy way to get all of your officially licensed Big 12 championship merchandise and team apparel. 
With a huge inventory of top brands, great customer service, and $4.99 shipping on every order, the Big 12 online store will get you ready for the big game. Go to the Big 12 online store today to get t-shirts, jerseys, hats, polos, accessories, and more. The Big 12 online store, where Big 12 fans get everything they need. The Remington Report. All the information on Remington Park racing and casino events every day following a live race day. Replays of every race during the American Quarter Horse and Thoroughbred seasons. The big payoffs and handicapping selections for upcoming races. The Remington Report airs at 1 p.m. on Friday, Saturday, and Monday with the Sunday show at 12.30 p.m. The Remington Report, only on Cox Channel 3. Let your heart race. The inside information you need on the Sooners from Cox Channel 3. Join Coach Stoops each Thursday for Inside Sooner Football, this week's matchup, and the keys to victory. On Sunday nights, Coach Stoops returns for an hour of in-depth analysis and highlights from Saturday's big game on Sooner Football 2007. Don't miss a down all season long on Cox Channel 3. The Ford High School Game of the Week. The biggest matchups from across the state all season long. Don't miss the action Thursday and Friday nights live, only on Cox Channel 3. We're Southwest fans now first. FSN Southwest. Big 12 Instant Classic is brought to you by Lenny's Sub Shops. With over a half pound of meat and cheese on the regular Philly sub, stop in today. Dave Hunziker, John Holcomb, Robert Allen, Eddie Neuendorf, Danny Randolph, Joe Riddle, John Philbeck, Josh Gottfried, Dennis Smith. The whole gang's here for homecoming 2007. Jared Parker will kick off for Kansas State to Parrish Cox and Tommy Devereaux, who stand at the Cowboy 5 to return it. Cowboys will be going into the win. This line drive kickoff bounces seven yards deep in the end zone and rolls out of the end zone for a touchback. That's such a big part of the Cowboy offense, those chunk plays. Last year, Kansas State held the Cowboys to only four big plays. Safety's way up again. On first and 10, it's a handoff to Savage off right guard. And he pushes his way forward for three yards up to the 23. Zach Robinson under center on second at seven for Oklahoma State from its own 23. Just underway here in the second half. And Robinson with a quick drop, quick throw near side. It's caught by Darius Bowman, tackled immediately at about the 29 after a six yard gain. 21 17, Kansas State leads. This is the first possession of the second half. Third and one, jumbo formation. Cowboys run the option. It's a pitch taken by Crossland to the 35, up the right sideline, and knocked out of bounds at the 38 yard line. Robinson ran the option, had to pitch it early, but Crossland shows a little bit of first, gained 10 yards on that option. First down, Oklahoma State. Zach Carter got just enough of Marcus Watts to knock him out toward the sideline, just a little bit that gave Crossland some room. Nice call by Larry Fedora and the Cowboy offense running the option out of that jumbo personnel. First and 10, Oklahoma State from its own 39. One back set with Dantrell Savage. Robinson under center takes a snap, hands it off to Savage up the middle. Room to run to the 45, and he scoots forward all the way up to the Cowboy 47. A gain of eight. Chris Carney, the safety, made the stop. It'll be second down and two for Oklahoma State. Well, the side-to-side -side movement by Savage again. He gets up near the logo and just squirts forward, so nobody got a clean shot on it. On second down, it's a pitch to Savage, running on the right side to midfield and tackled at the 47-yard line of Kansas State. Gain of seven on the play. First down, Oklahoma State. Justin Rowland made the stop. They've done something up front that's created them the ability to create a little more space there and a nice job on the right side of the line. Denning with a good block there. Gave Savage just enough room. Again, he doesn't need much. No. First and 10, Oklahoma State from the Kansas State 47. Two tight ends, one back set with Savage, who now has 68 yards on the night. Single wide receivers left and right, and Robinson hands it off to Savage up the middle. Still on his feet, breaks a tackle at the 45 and scoots all the way down to the Kansas State 37. Cantrell Savage has rushed for over 100 yards in four straight games, and he may be on his way to doing it again tonight. First and 10, Oklahoma State from the Kansas State 37. Robinson fakes a handoff, drops back to pass. Looking, looking, throws it down the field right side, and the pass is tipped, and is it intercepted? It is 
is intercepted by Kansas State at the 25-yard line. Byron Garvin intercepted the ball. Savage left, leaped up high to try to catch it. It went off his hands and was intercepted by Garvin. A diving interception. You see the replay on the big screen here. They slow it down, and Garvin looks like he got it. It's a tough angle to tell from, and it's going to be one of those. They're going to review. Going to review the field is interception, K-State's football. You're not, okay, here's where perhaps, perhaps, I'm not going to say it definitely will be the case here, but perhaps because this is not a TV game, you still have cameras in place, but do you have enough to, you know, give you a definitive replay here? And... Will that angle, will it tell you enough to be able to overturn it? Hey. He wasn't convinced he got it. You're right. The other thing is, I don't believe this is a challenge. No, I don't think it is. No, you this is just right. a review. This was called upstairs. After review, call on the field is reversed. Oh, my! Good call, Robert Allen. That's our Johnny on the spot. Good call, Robert. That's a huge momentum swing potentially here. Now the Cowboys, this is just in a sense, they, this is just like a turnover. You have to go take something. You have to cash this one in. You got a second chance here. You need to go cash this in. Second and 10, Oklahoma State after the call reversal from the Kansas State 37. I formation. Kendall Hunter, the tailback. Zach Carter is a fullback. And now play is stopped. need to be able to take advantage of that. Ah, the play clock had not been started. Now they'll play. Robinson under center, out of the eye. Second and 10, it's a pitch to Hunter. Running on the far side, gets a block in front, turns a corner to the 31 and smacked hard out of bounds at the Kansas State 30. Gain of seven. Chris Carney, the safety, made the stop. Kept trying to decide whether to pop it upfield or keep going to the edge. Good blocking out there. Zach Carter with a great block. Not much room over those sidelines. Third and three, Oklahoma State from the Kansas State 30. This is the first possession of the second half. Kansas State with a 21 to 17 lead over Oklahoma State on homecoming in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Robinson in the shotgun. Back split. Now Bowman leaves the backfield, goes in motion to the right side. Third and three. Robinson back to pass. Flush from the pocket. He'll run it straight ahead, and he's tackled for no gain at the 30-yard line. Now what do you do? It's fourth and three from the 30-yard line of Kansas State. Rob Jackson made a great play, and the Cowboys are going into the wind. It'd be a 47-yard field goal if they chose to kick it. They may go for it here on fourth down. No question. No question you go for it. Huge play. Fourth and three. Oklahoma State from the Kansas State 30. Robinson in the shotgun. Gets the snap. Hands it off to Hunter. Running on the left side. Bounces outside. First down to the 25. And spun out of bounds at the 23-yard line of Kansas State. A gain of seven. And a first down for the Cowboys. As aggressive as the Wildcats are, the Cowboys having a lot of success finding the edge. Stephen Denning got the first block there, got enough of his man. Hunter with a little duck in with a shoulder, popped it back outside. Terrific run. I think they're having a hard time seeing him. That's a point that Robert Allen made in our headset that Hunter at 5'8", these tall K-State linemen sometimes are losing it. First and 10, Cowboys run the option right. It's a pitch to Hunter, running on the right side, can't turn the corner. Tackled after a one-yard gain at the K-State 21. It'll be second down and nine from there for Oklahoma State. Robinson in the shotgun. Kendall Hunter in the one-back set. Second and nine from the K-State 21. Hand off to Hunter. Zone read. Left side to the 15 and dropped at the 14 and a half. A gain of seven. Third and three coming up for Oklahoma State from the Kansas State 14 and a half. Clayton Cox out of the interior of the defensive line for the Wildcats got the tackle. That's one way you get all the congestion spread out for the Wildcats. You put three receivers out on the side, but you still have to beat your man enough up front on the offensive line. The Cowboys did a pretty good job that time. Third and three, Oklahoma State. 
from the Kansas State 15. Zach Robinson in the shotgun. Two receivers right, one left. Zach takes a snap, runs his own read. He'll keep it, trying to bounce to the outside, turns the corner, first down to the 10, and Zach Robinson tackled at the Kansas State eight-yard line. Gain of seven, first and goal, Oklahoma State. Great decision by Zach that time. Flow goes left, he cuts it back right, and is able to outrun Ian Campbell to the edge and pick up the first down. Now you're in that same spot you were in twice at the end of the second quarter. This time you have to cash this in with a touchdown. Cowboys had two first and goal chances in the second quarter and got only three points combined out of the two possessions. Dantrell Savage in at tailback, one back set. Robinson under center on first and goal, hand off to Savage, up the middle, breaks a tackle, and he sprints into the end zone! Pistols firing! Touchdown! Dantrell Savage! Congested at first, a linebacker shot up in the gap, but Savage just hopped to his left ever so slightly and then found nothing but white shirts on the ground. Great blocking by the offensive line. Cowboys run the swinging gate extra point. Now they shift into their normal point after formation. Rick's on for the point after. Snap back, ball down, kick on the way, and it's good. Oklahoma State leads for the first time tonight. They've outscored Kansas State 17-0 over the last 15 minutes. Back at Stillwater, Dan Bailey kicks off for the Cowboys, and the ball taken by Leon Patton at the 8 on the right side. Trying to reverse his field, trying to turn the corner, being swarmed and being tackled at the 14-yard line. Quentin Moore did it again, Dave. Two big plays by Quentin Moore so far in this ballgame. So Oklahoma State, which has outscored, outscored Kansas State 17-0 since the 14-01 mark of the second quarter, will send its defense out onto the field with its first lead of the game, 24-21, with 9.33 left in the third. Freeman under center. Johnson in a one-back set. First and ten. And Freeman back to pass. Has time. Throws over the middle. The pass is tipped. Oh. And it's caught. Oh. A sliding catch by Jordy Nelson at the 35. Donovan Woods got a hand on it. And I'll be darned if he didn't tip it right to the senior wide receiver for a 21-yard gain. Great concentration by Jordy Nelson. Donovan Woods is almost there. And you take your chances. You still, if you're Oklahoma State, you want to see Josh Freeman throwing the football. You want to see him back there because eventually it's going to catch up with him. They're too close on too many plays. You're right. Boy, that, you're exactly right, John. First and 10, Kansas State from its own 35. And Freeman gets a shotgun snap. Throws far side. It's incomplete. Low throw. Man was open. I think it was Deion Murphy, the speedster, that was open in midfield. Second and 10 Wildcats from their own 36. Freeman under center. One back set. And Freeman back to pass. Throws far side. Leaping catch made by Murphy and knocked out of bounds. Picked up the first down as he was punched out at the K-State 48. First and 10, K-State from its own 48. It's a shovel pass inside to Johnson. Running straight ahead into Cowboy territory and dropped after five yards at the Oklahoma State 47 by Donovan Woods. Wildcat drive started at the K-State 14 and Freeman back to pass on second and five. Links it to the far side. The pass is caught by Johnson. Has the first down. Tackled at the 41-yard line of Oklahoma State by Jacob Lacy. Six-yard gain. First down, Kansas State. He would much prefer just to unload it. First and 10, K-State from the Cowboy 41. Freeman hands it off to the tailback. That's Patton running on the left side to the 35 and brought down at the Oklahoma State 31. Ricky Price made the stop. Good hesitation by Leon Patton. Freeman under center. Hands it off to Patton, running on the left side. First down to the 30 and tackled at the Oklahoma State 27. Gain of four. First down, Kansas State. The surge by the left side of the Kansas State line. Pretty impressive so far on this drive. The Cowboys got a good push from the left side of the defensive line, but the flow goes away from it. Patrick Levine came up at the end of that play to put a pretty good look on Patton. Roderick Johnson out there at defensive end. Nathan Peterson's getting a blow. Kansas State first and 10 from the Cowboy 26. 
Two receivers left, one right. Freeman under center. Gets the snap. Drops back to pass. Under pressure and just throws it away. That's intentional grounding right there or holding one of the two. It's not intentional grounding because it's at the feet of Johnson, but it's got to be holding on the Kansas State offensive line. Yeah, he just threw the ball into the ground. There again, Freeman will just, he, he will not take a sack. He'll find a way to get rid of it. And that's wise on his part for the most part, unless he throws it into coverage, which sometimes he does. But that was a good decision, perhaps. We'll see what the call is. Let's go down to Robert. Hey, for uh, for folks that wonder how wound up Mike Gundy can get, he is all over the defense on this, yelling, get off blocks. You know, even, even giving a, 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 a technique, kind of showing a rip from the sidelines. He is really into this defensive series, guys. Well, it was a hold, and they do move him back 10 yards for the spot of the foul. Yeah, I guess that is 10 yards. Did look yes. like it from our angle there for a minute. So it's, it's off from the line of scrimmage. Take it back to the 36 of Oklahoma State, where it's first down and 20 for Kansas State. Jordy Nelson split to the left. Cedric Wilson to the right. Shotgun split backs. Freeman gets the snap, drops back, throws deep over the middle, and it's incomplete. Oh, they got a flag. flag comes down. They're going to call Patrick Levine for holding, defensive holding. I don't think they call pass interference here. I think they may call it for, I mean, they could, but it looked more like holding on that pass, but that ball is nowhere close to being caught. Holding, number four of the defense. That's a 10-yard penalty and an automatic first down. Well, you really, you're just right back to where you were before yeah. the holding penalty on, you trade holding penalties and, basically run two plays that didn't mean anything. Josh Freeman, 21 of 33 for 256 yards and two scores. Wildcats have passed for 256. They've rushed for 37. They've run 33 pass plays and 11 running plays so far tonight. So it's first and 10 for Kansas State from the Oklahoma State 27. Two receivers right, one left. Freeman under center. One back set with Johnson on first and ten. And Freeman with a quick drop. Throws to the right side. Caught by Jordy Nelson. Breaks a tackle at the 25. Up the right side to the 15. And he's tackled at the 12-yard line. A gain of 15 yards. And a Kansas State first down. Took the lead for the first time tonight. First and ten, Kansas State from the Oklahoma State 11. It's Oklahoma State 24, Kansas State 21. Midway through the third, Wildcats on the move. Freeman on first down, fakes a handoff, rolls out right, throws toward the end zone. It's caught by Jordy Nelson. Touchdown, Kansas State. Looked like they picked on Marcus Brown on his first play out there, John Holcomb, and it's a K-State touchdown. Little bit of deception there as the flow went left, and then they curled Freeman back right, and Nelson just drags across the end zone along with it. It's a tough throw to go back across your body, but that's exactly where Nelson was. Brown was chasing. Brooks Rossman in for the point after. Snap high, ball down, kick on the way, and it's good. 6.34 left in the third. Kansas State yeah, the regains the lead, 28-24 over Oklahoma State. Cowboy football from host communications continues in a moment. Wherever you are, you'll love it at Lenny's, where sandwiches are made fresh from the deli case, hand sliced to order one slice at a time every time, and piled high on fresh bread baked daily. Home to the Philly cheesesteak. Our regular is served with over half a pound of meat and cheese. There's over 25 subs, sandwiches, and salads to choose from. More food, more taste, more personality. Lenny's, your neighborhood sub shop. After 50 years of unbeatable quality, something special is in order. So Toyota did something extra special. Happy anniversary. Till October 31st, Toyota's 50th anniversary special is yours for the taking. Lease a new 08 Camry LE for $269 a month for 36 months with just $269 due. Or buy a new 08 Camry and get 3.9% APR for 36 months. But hurry, you've got till October 31st to get to your local Toyota dealer. The Wrangler Pro Rodeo Tour Ariat Playoffs. As rodeo's first ever postseason shifts to Omaha, only the world's toughest cowboys remain in a grueling 14-week battle for the championship crown. 
and a share of a $1.6 million purse. Who will answer the bell? The Wrangler Pro Rodeo Tour Ariat Playoffs, Thursday on FSN. Back at Boone Pickens Stadium in Stillwater, that was an 86-yard drive and nine plays by Kansas State. Second touchdown reception of the night for Jordy Nelson. Correction, his third touchdown catch of the night. His third touchdown catch of the night. This one an 11-yarder. Kansas State leads 28-24. Kickoff by Jared Parker. Goes three yards deep in the end zone. Tommy Devereaux will wisely take a knee and accept the touchback. First and 10, Oklahoma State from its own 20. Another big possession for the offense. Robinson takes the shotgun snap, runs his own read, takes it straight ahead to the 25, and he dives down at the 26. Six-yard gain. Reggie Walker made the stop. But you beat him up the middle. Three receivers right, one left. Robinson in the shotgun, second and four. Hands it off to Kendall Hunter, straight ahead to the 28. And he stopped right there. Gained about two. It'll be third and two for the Cowboys. This is a big one here. Third and two, Oklahoma State. From its own 28, bunch formation, two tight ends. Robinson fakes a handoff, drops back, throws right flat. The pass is juggled and kicked and falls incomplete. Intended for Zach Carter, Ian Campbell was coming in, I believe, applying a lot of pressure on Robinson. He had to throw it in a hurry, and Carter had a chance to catch it. It bounced off his knee and went 10 yards down the field incomplete. It was down below his hip just a little bit, but you're right. Zach had to get rid of it in a hurry. Campbell was all over him. And then it shot forward to where one of the other Cowboys almost had a shot at grabbing it. Brandon Pettigrew was down there. Matt Fodge will stand at his own 15 to punt it away. They just switched their return, guys. Nelson went to the left and Murphy to the right. Best punt return unit in America back there to take it. Fodge's punt is short and is taken by Murphy on the right side of the 38. Turns the corner right sideline to the 45 and then is tackled hard out of bounds at the 49. Boy, that was a heck of a play. Formation and Freeman hands it off to the tailback. That's Johnson off left tackle, big hold to the 45 of Oklahoma State and tackled at the 40, a gain of 11. First down, Kansas State. In the BI, Freeman under center. Jordy Nelson split right, has three touchdown catches. And Freeman back to pass, throws it toward Nelson, right side, makes the catch at the 33 and spun out of bounds at the 32, a gain of eight. Jacob Lacey made the stop. High formation, second and two, Kansas State from the Oklahoma State 32. Freeman fakes a handoff, dumps it off to the tight end right side to the 30. First down to the 25, and Jaron Mestrude stopped at the 24 by Jacob Lacey. It was a bootleg, well executed, gaining eight yards and a Kansas State first down. K-State first and 10 from the Oklahoma State 24. High formation, Freeman hands it off. Now it's a reverse. They pitch it to Murphy. Running on the left side to the 20 and pushed out of bounds inside the 20 at the 17. Marquis Fountain got blindsided, floored by a block back by one of the big tackles for Kansas State over there. Or actually the, uh, yeah, Alessana Alessana, I think is the one who got in the left tackle. But credit Lacey for being quick enough to get over there. Yeah, you knew that you were going to see that at some point. Murphy runs those reverses. Defense needs to come up with a big play. Second and two, Kansas State from the Cowboys 16. Freeman under center. Takes the snap, rolls out right, oh, flush in the pocket. Running on the right side, and he just throws it away out of bounds. Fountain is putting pressure on Freeman. And the crowd's booing because it looked like it happened right in front of the official. We'll get another look at what we call it here. But here comes Marquis Fountain. He's being oh, yeah. tagged. That should have been a holding call. The only thing that saved the Kansas State right tackle from that being a holding call is inside the shoulder pads. He didn't have a hold of him on the outside, but he definitely had a hold of Jersey right in the middle. Third and two, Kansas State from the Oklahoma State 16. 28-24, Kansas State leads. Big play. One back set. Freeman under center. Patton is a tailback. And Freeman back to pass. Throws over the middle. It's caught. Ball comes loose at the five-yard line, and the Cowboys have recovered. Marcus Brown recovered the fumble at the six. Man, what a big play. on the replay again and I wonder if they'll take a look at it. I think Ron Prince wants to take a look at it to see if he wasn't down. But we're getting a look in slow motion. 
on the big screen. Freeman. Donovan Woods comes up. That's a fumble, John. It's a fumble. It's a fumble, definitely. Jaron Mastrude made the catch, got upended, and lost the ball while he was falling over Donovan Woods' back. Man, that's another big turnover inside the Oklahoma State 30, forced by the Cowboy defense. Man, that, that was dead gum huge. Got to do something with it now. High formation, Zach Robinson to the quarterback under center. He's 6 out of 16 tonight. Hands it off on first down to Savage, and he's hit in the backfield and spun down for a one-yard loss by Moses Mann. And Cowboys trail 28-24 late in the third. High formation. Single wide receiver left. Adarius Bowman a wing to the right. Robinson takes a snap. Pitches it. Right side Savage to the 10 and punched down at about the 12. He gains seven. Byron Garvin made the stop. It'll be third and four for the Cowboys. Well, you see all of those white jerseys over that way, and you wonder how in the world is he going to pick up some positive yardage? Well, a good block from Zach Carter coming up to take out one of the linebackers helped on that particular play, but this is a huge third down. They gave him the 11, so instead of third and four, it's third and five. Robinson in the shotgun. Just six out of 16 tonight. Single back to his left. Darius Bowman goes in motion to the left side. Zach takes a snap. Four-man rush. Has time. Throws deep over the middle. It's incomplete. Intended for Brandon Pettigrew at the 32. Bodge has averaged 38 yards a punt. Standing three yards deep in the end zone. He gets a snap. Angles the kick toward the right sideline. The wind blows it back into play. The ball hits a K-State player. And the Cowboys have recovered. Seth Clements has recovered the ball at the 43-yard line. The ball hit a K-State player in the leg, and the Cowboys recover it. They're going to talk about this one. The only question in my mind was, did he have possession of the ball before he went out of bounds? They say it's Cowboy ball. State turnover. And the Cowboy offense is out there quick. We're getting another look on the replay. It hit the back of the leg, and Clements looked like he was juggling it as he was falling right toward the Cowboy sideline. But he landed on top of the ball. He had it underneath him. I think that's why they're not going to review this one. First and ten. Hand off to Savage up the middle. Pushes the pile forward for about two up to the Cowboy 45. Second down and eight. Oklahoma State from its own 45. Cowboys down 28-24 late in the third. Robinson takes a shotgun snap. Hands it off to Savage up the middle to midfield and pushing his way into Kansas State territory. Down to the K-State 48. It'll be third and one. Third and one. Quarterback sneak. Robinson fumbles it. It's scooped up by Savage. Savage pitches it to a Darius Bowman on the left side and he gets the first down. Son of a gun. How? six yards it was a quarterback sneak Robinson lost the football Savage scooped it up ran to the left side didn't think he could make the first down and he pitched it and Savage came up uh, limping a little bit but wow what a play and lucky you maintain possession but hey anything to get that critical first down I was in the right place but it was at the right time <laughs> I love that song. Leon Russell? Is that who that mm -hmm. is? Except he said wrong time, and I like right time. First and 10 Oklahoma State from the Kansas State 42. Well, you don't see that every day. Keith Tostin in a tailback in a one-back set. Zach Robinson under center. Bowman split right, Des Bryant left, and Zach hands it off to Tostin. Big hole up the middle. 35, still on his feet to the 30, and tackled at the Kansas State 28. Gain of 14. Keith Tostin on his first carry tonight shows the first and gains. 14 yards and a Cowboy first down. You know, that's the definition of a north-south guy, except, of course, on this field, it's east-west. Cowboys quickly up to the line. Robinson takes a shotgun snap, rolling out to his right, throws down the field, the pass is incomplete. Threw it toward to Darius Bowman at the K-State 15. Second and 10, Oklahoma State from the Kansas State 29. High formation. Kendall Hunter is a tailback. Zach Carter, the fullback. Bowman split right, Bryant to the left. 41 seconds left in the third. Robinson takes a snap, 
Runs the option to the right, pitches it to Hunter. Blocker in front, 25-20. Right sideline, 15, and falls down at the 11-yard line at Kansas State. Zach Robinson waited till the last possible moment to make that pitch. It sealed the corner for Kendall Hunter. It's 18 yards and a Cowboy first down. And Darius Bowman with a great block downfield, and if it hadn't been for Marcus Watts just sticking an arm out there to trip up Kendall Hunter, that's probably a touchdown. Kansas State has had two costly turnovers in Cowboy territory here in the third quarter. Savage back in. Bunch formation right. Savage is back in at tailback. First and 10 from the K-State 11. Robinson hands it off to Savage. Off right guard. Right side to the five and upended as he falls down at the four. Gain of seven. Three quarters in the books. Kansas State 28, Oklahoma State 24. We'll pause. Cowboy football for most communications continues in a moment. The best of the Big 12 Conference is on Big 12 Showcase. Only Big 12 Showcase takes you on location every week for unparalleled coverage of all the athletic programs from across the conference. From the latest news and highlights to exclusive features and interviews, no one is more dedicated to the Big 12 than FSN. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, Big 12 Showcase brings you year-round coverage you won't get anywhere else. Big 12 Showcase, Fridays and Saturdays on FSN Southwest. Here's a tip from Design on a Dime. If you know where to look, you can find beautiful handcrafted tiles for mere pennies. Go to a tile manufacturer and find the bargain bins. If the color or design is a little off, it ends up here at a big markdown. It's the beauty of tile without the price tag. For more information, visit HGTV.com. This tip has been brought to you locally by Grigsby's for all of your flooring needs. Find the right vehicle for you at AutoMaster. This month at AutoMaster, every vehicle qualifies for either $199, $399, or $699 down. This applies to every vehicle on our lot, not just one or two. Plus, our six-month, 6,000-mile warranty and our satisfaction guarantee make buying from AutoMaster risk-free. Every vehicle qualifies for either $199, $399, or $699 down. Low down payments on every vehicle, plus our satisfaction guarantee, but only at AutoMaster. Cowboys Insider, Wednesday night at 10 on FSN Southwest. Back in Stillwater. Ready for the start of the fourth quarter. Kansas State 28, Oklahoma State 24. Cowboys will have a second and three from the Kansas State five as they go from right to left. That is from east to west. Robert Allen has an injury update. We'll check in with him momentarily. First, though, big play coming up for the Cowboy offense. Bunch formation right from the right hash mark. Dantrell Savage in a one-back set. Second and three from the Kansas State five. Robinson takes a snap, hands it off to Savage, up the middle, diving his way through traffic, and he has stopped inside the one at the half-yard line, but there's a flag down. Dantrell Savage on the carry. Flag down. Well, I didn't see what this could be, but... If it's the umpire, it's usually not good. Holding, 54 of the offense. 10 yard penalty, second down. Boy, that takes a first and goal from the one away. It's Kansas State 28, Oklahoma State 24, and you go from first and goal inside the one to second and about 13 from the 15 of Kansas State. Boy, that is a big swing. Well, the other way to look at it is you've got a little more room to operate. And you can still pick up a first down without scoring. Des Bryant split right. Zach Robinson in the shotgun. One back set. Dantrell Savage out there. Bowman and Seth Newton split left. Out of the shotgun. Second down and 14. Oklahoma State from the K-State 15. Robinson takes a snap. Hands it off to Savage. Zipping his way through the fenders inside the 10. Tackled at the 9.
Cowboys on third and eight. It's a wide receiver screen. And Des Bryant runs it into the end zone. Pistols firing. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. It was third and about eight from the Kansas State 10. They ran the wide receiver screen to Des Bryant, and he took it into the end zone for the score. His two touchdowns have been two of the most athletic plays you'll see by a receiver. And on this call, he has to come back to the ball and then hope he gets a block, and he has to make one guy miss. He does. The blockers do the rest. He finds the end zone. Ricks on for the point after. Snap back. Ball down. Kick on the way. And it's good. Timeout. 13.45 left. Oklahoma State 31. Kansas State 28. First and 10, and Freeman back to pass. Throws far side. Caught by Nelson. Left sideline to the 33. Has a first down. He spun out of bounds at the Kansas State 36. He's had a monster game. 10 catches for 158 yards for Jordy Nelson, the senior. A walk-on from Riley, Kansas, who could be as good as any receiver in the Big 12. And that was just Jordy Nelson finding the soft spot in the coverage and just sitting down, like they like to say, and then a couple of Cowboys ran into each other trying to track him down. First and 10, Kansas State from its own 36. Marcus Brown at middle linebacker. Replacing the injured Patrick Levine. Freeman under center. Drops back to pass. Blitz coming. Throws far side. And the wow. pass is caught. Wow. A diving catch made by Daniel Gonzalez with a man all over him at the 43. Parrish Cox was there. Gain of seven. Second down and three. Kansas State from its own 43 coming up. It's a low throw, but that is a good catch. And it's right there in front of the official, too. Vance thought that the ball incomplete. Mike Gundy pointed to the big screen as if to say at least take a look but he's not going to throw a challenge flag on that. Not worth it. Second and three. Handoff. Left side. Johnson. Big hole to midfield in Cowboy territory to the 45 and tackled at the Oklahoma State 43. The mix a lot better. Yards. Pardon me David. The mix a lot better this half and now another Cowboys down. Wildcats first and 10 from the Cowboy 43, and Freeman back to pass. Hit, and he is sacked for the first time tonight. Back at the 48-yard line by Nathan Peterson. For a loss of five yards, it'll be second down and 15. Cowboys did not bring any extra men that time. That's four guys beating the five or so up front for Kansas State. Great job by Peterson. Justin Gent was out there at linebacker for the Cowboys, replacing the injured Jeremy Nathan. Now, Oklahoma State will go to five defensive backs as K-State faces a second and 15 from the Oklahoma State 48. Cowboys are down three linebackers right now. Collins, uh, Jeremy Nathan, and Patrick Levine. Second and 15. Hand off to Patton. Left side, big hole to the 40. 35 to the 30. First down. And Leon Patton tackled at the Oklahoma State 29. Gain of 19. Ricky Price made the stop. First down, Kansas State. Cowboys went to five defensive backs, and Kansas State ran it. They collapsed the left side of the line with only three down linemen up there. And then Brown slow to come over a little bit. Ricky Price has to drag it down. But you also saw some of the speed that Leon Patton possessed. First and 10, Kansas State from the Cowboy 29. 31-28, Oklahoma State leads. 11 and a half minutes left in the fourth. Freeman under center. And we're going to have a penalty against Kansas State. Right guard jump. Once again. Right in the snap. Full start. 65 offense. Five yard penalty. First down. First and 15, K-State from the Cowboy 34. And we've got another flag. Another procedure call. The nation's leading team in penalties is starting to show its uh, penalty ridden stripes. Full start, 65 offense. That's two in a row. First down. Two in a row for Robinson. You can hear over the officials, Mike, how much that wind is still kind of blowing. And if you look at the flags at the top of the east end zone goalposts, you can see it's still swirling down there. So it does have an impact on what Kansas State may try to do. But the crowd getting into it may have even more of an impact. center takes a snap hands it off to Johnson off left tackle spins at the 35 nice yardage 
tackled at the 31, gain of eight. Second and 12, Kansas State from the Cowboy 31. Freeman under center. Long count, takes a snap, quick drop, throws far side, caught by Nelson, spins at the 27, spins again at the 26, and he's pushed out of bounds at about the 24. Seven yards. Third and four, Kansas State from the Cowboy 23. Freeman under center, changing the play at the line. Cowboys have four down linemen. Freeman, quick drop, quick throw over the middle, and the pass is caught for a first down by Daniel Gonzalez, and he's tackled at the 14 of Oklahoma State. They got out of a first down and 20 hole. They'll have a first and 10 after that eight yard gain at the Oklahoma State 14. Terrence Anderson there on the defense, but he was behind the receiver, and he was so much smaller. And again, just as the Cowboys took advantage of Kansas State throwing it to Des Bryant on their first touchdown, same sort of thing taking place there for Kansas State. Josh Freeman, 30 out of 43 for 349 yards. First and 10, Kansas State. Freeman fakes a handoff, rolling out right, being pressured, flings it down the field. The pass is broken up incomplete at the seven-yard line. Second and 10, Kansas State from the Oklahoma State 14. Freeman under center, takes a snap, hands it off to the tailback. Patton up the middle to the 10, pushing the pile forward inside the seven and stopped at the five. Second effort, second effort and some help from your own teammates there. Which is, you know, it's, it's rarely called. Are you supposed to be able to push your own offensive player forward? No, but really, Cowboys were as guilty of it as the Wildcats as there were more orange jerseys on top of that in that time. Third and one, Kansas State from the Cowboy five. Oklahoma State leads 31-28. Approaching the midway point of the fourth quarter. Freeman under center. One back set. Third and one, handoff to Johnson, trying to break free. He is hit and stuffed at the six-yard line. May have lost a yard on the play. Now what does Ron Prince do? I think you've got to kick and tie the game, John. You have to kick it. You have to tie it up. Big stop. Oh, it's a big, big play. How about that? Andre Sexton, the first one in. Marcus Brown there to help. Russ Rossman, 13 out of 16 in field goals this year will attempt from the near hash mark a 23-yard field goal. Extreme angle, will have to hook it. Snap back, ball down, kick on the way. It's good. The game is tied. Eight minutes and one second left to play. A thrill ride on homecoming in Stillwater. Oklahoma State and Kansas State are tied at 31. Cowboy football from Host Communications continues in a moment. Wherever you are, you'll love it at Lenny's, where sandwiches are made fresh from the deli case, hand-sliced to order one slice at a time every time, and piled high on fresh bread baked daily. Home to the Philly cheesesteak, our regular is served with over half a pound of meat and cheese. There's over 25 subs, sandwiches, and salads to choose from. More food, more taste, more personality. Lenny's, your neighborhood sub shop. Get ready. Help! This weekend, this is our weekend. What is that? Saw war. I have just begun. Radar Friday. The first Williams Fried Chicken opened in 1987 and has grown to over 50 locations. Get a Williams Hot Wing Party Pack just right for watching the big game. Party packs are available in 20, 40, and 60 pieces. Great value, quality, and flavor. Visit Williams Chicken. Taste the difference. If you love playing golf and love to play on beautiful courses, watch the show built just for you. I'm John Granato inviting you to join us on Golf Southwest as we take you across the region touring some of the best golf courses and destinations. If you're a golf fan, this is the place to be. Plus, we give you the latest in innovations and tips. Academy Sports and Outdoors presents Golf Southwest, Saturdays at 10 on FSN Southwest. Eight minutes and one second left to play. Kansas State on a short field goal by Brooks Rossman has tied the game at 31 with Oklahoma State. It has been a topsy-turvy, crazy game. Kansas State once led 21-7 in the first half. Cowboys scored 17 unanswered points to take the lead. Seesaw ever since. 
Jared Parker kicks off into the wind. It's a squib kick, fielded on the hop by Parrish Cox at the 14. Straight ahead to the 25, tries to bounce to the outside. A flag comes down, and so does Cox at the 27. That's usually against the return team. Yeah, almost always. The return 16, Parrish Cox, brought down by number 20, Courtney Herndon. During the return, holding number 20 of the return team. 10 yard penalty, first down. That'll take the ball inside the Oklahoma State 20. Cowboys have the wind at their backs. Seven minutes and 55 seconds left to play in a 31 all tie with Kansas State. Cowboys have put 31 points on the board despite the fact that they've been limited to only 98 yards passing. Zach Robinson, the sophomore quarterback, is seven out of 19. He's thrown two touchdowns and one interception. So it's first and 10 for the Cowboys from their own 17-yard line. One back set with Dantrell Savage, and Robinson hands it off to Savage. Sports free beyond the 20, and he falls down at the 21. Good grief, he looked like he was going to be tackled for a two-yard loss. Robinson under center on second and six, and Zach back to pass, throws far side, and the pass is broken up, incomplete. Intended for Darius Bowman, Justin McKinney broke on the ball nicely and broke it up and almost intercepted the ball. It'll be third down and about six. Dangerous, dangerous stuff right here. Sets up, and McKinney dives in. But that one's going a little bit more toward the sideline. It looked like Bowman had to reach back inside for it. Either way, another big, big play for the Cowboy offense. You know, Zach Robinson just has not been as sharp tonight as he's been in previous games. He'll need to make a play here, though. Third and seven. For the Cowboys, just beyond their own 20, and Robinson takes a shotgun snap, sets up, flush from the pocket, now he'll run it. Pumps, 25, and he's driven out of bounds, and I think he got the first down at well, about the 27 the and a half. I think he got it, I think. He stretched the ball forward as he was going out of bounds. First down. He just did get away from Ian Campbell, tried to pump fake Cheatham, and just did pick it up. Woo-wee. That was by scan inches, my good buddy. Scan inches. First and 10, Oklahoma State from their own 27. Three receivers left, one right. Zach Robinson in the shotgun. One back set. He takes a snap. Wide receiver screen to Bowman. Left side, good box in front to the 30. And Bowman dropped at the 33-yard line. Six-yard gain. Second and four, Oklahoma State from its own 33. Six and a half minutes left in the fourth. Cowboys at Kansas State tied at 31. Robinson takes a shotgun snap. Runs the option. He'll keep it. 35-40. First down. And Zach Robinson spun down at the 44-yard line. A gain of 11. Chris Carney made the stop. But the Cowboys pick up another first down. Wildcats attack. Cowboys first down. Attack up the middle, and Zach is quick enough to get to the edge. Campbell had the pitch man that time, so an easy decision for Zach to turn it up. Nice job. 13 carries, 92 yards for Zach Robinson as he approaches his second career 100 yard game. Cowboys have gone over 300 yards on the ground, 301. Boy, they've been tough yards. Out of the eye on first and 10. Robinson hands it off to Savage up the middle, breaks a tackle at the line of scrimmage, and gains two. Up to the 46, second and eight, Oklahoma State from its own 46. K-State shows the blitz. Robinson in the shotgun, takes the snap, fakes a handoff, drops back under pressure, throws near side, caught by Bowman, makes a move at midfield, darts forward to the 45, into Kansas State territory, and tackled at the 39 of the Wildcats. Justin Rowland finally tackled Bowman, but it's a gain of 15 yards and an Oklahoma State first down. Zach Robinson hanging in there knowing he was going to take a shot from a blitzing linebacker and delivered that ball right on the money. Adarius Bowman now, six catches for 81 yards. First and 10 Cowboys from the Kansas State 40. Zach Robinson in the shotgun. Two receivers to his right, one to his left. That's Des Bryant. Zach takes a snap, runs his own read. He'll keep it straight ahead for maybe two to the 38. John Hulick lifted up Zach Robinson and threw him down. All in Cowboy territory tonight. Oklahoma State has the ball at the K-State 38, second and eight. 
Robinson takes the shotgun snap, fakes a handoff to Savage, throws near side incomplete. Intended for Adarius Bowman, who'd lost his footing and was stumbling as he tried to make the catch at the Wildcat 35. He'll go to the shotgun. Third and eight, Oklahoma State from the Kansas State 38. Tie game at 31, 421 left in the fourth. Robinson takes a snap, blitz coming, Zach in trouble, flings it down the field, the pass is caught! Brandon Pettigrew made the catch, 25, left sideline, 20, 15, 10, 5, and he leaps into the end zone, pistols firing, touchdown, Brandon Pettigrew! This is a prayer answer. Let's face it, Zach Robinson threw that because he was about to go flat on his back from two guys. He saw Pettigrew, who just had Marcus Watt shielded off, used his big body to be able to create space, then avoids one tackle, and just like in the Texas Tech game, dives inside the pylon. And that was another big-time stinking play, brother. Oh, They're going to challenge this, or going to review whether he got into the end zone. It's really close. At worst, it'll be first and goal. Play is under review, ruling on the field, it's touchdown. After review, the call is confirmed, touchdown. There you go. Brandon Pettigrew fought off a tackler at the point of the catch with a guy draped all over him. I mean, I'll tell you what, let me tell you something. He's special now. Those guys, they just don't come along every day. That, mm -mm -mm. Rick's on for the point after. Try to give the Cowboys a seven point lead. Snap back, ball down, kick on the way, and it's good. 39 yard touchdown throw on a wing and a prayer. Zach Robinson flinged it, Pettigrew caught it, and the big fella did the rest. 38 31, Oklahoma State leads with 4.09 left in the fourth. The Big 12 online store is the fast and easy way to get all of your officially licensed Big 12 championship merchandise and team apparel. With a huge inventory of top brands, great customer service, and $4.99 shipping on every order, the Big 12 online store will get you ready for the big game. Go to the Big 12 online store today to get t-shirts, jerseys, hats, polos, accessories, and more. The Big 12 online store, where Big 12 fans get everything they need. The inside information you need on the Sooners from Cox Channel 3. Join Coach Stoops each Thursday for Inside Sooner Football, this week's matchup, and the keys to victory. On Sunday nights, Coach Stoops returns for an hour of in-depth analysis and highlights from Saturday's big game on Sooner Football 2007. Don't miss a down all season long on Cox Channel 3. The Ford High School Game of the Week. The biggest matchups from across the state all season long. Don't miss the action Thursday and Friday nights live only on Cox Channel 3. Once again, the people have spoken. Once again, one name ranked highest for outstanding phone service. Once again, one company received a J.D. Power & Associates Award for overall customer satisfaction. And once again, it wasn't the old phone company. Cox Digital Telephone, the phone service people like most. Highest in residential telephone customer satisfaction in the Southwest region for the second year in a row. Instant Classic is brought to you by Lenny's Sub Shops. With over a half pound of meat and cheese on the regular Philly sub, stop in today. First and 10, Kansas State from its own 30. Two receivers left, one right. Freeman under center, one back set. And Freeman takes a snap, drops back to pass, throws over the middle, and the leaping catch is made by the tight end, Jaron Mastrud at midfield and dropped immediately. A 20-yard gain on a heck of a catch. First down, Kansas State. One of the K-State offensive linemen up, limping back toward the huddle. But that's a, that's a great throw by Freeman. That's something they've been trying to force a few times tonight. And you have to throw it right on the money, and that's right where it needed to be. Kansas State has turned it over three times in Cowboy territory. Could they do it again? First and 10 from midfield. Freeman back to throw. Throws it deep down the far side, and the pass is incomplete. 
He overthrew the intended receiver, Daniel Gonzalez, who was covered by Parrish Cox. Freeman under center, one back set, second and 10 from midfield, blitz coming, quick throw near side, leaping catch made. Murphy made the catch and stepped out of bounds at the 40. There is a flag down, four yards down from the line of scrimmage. Offsides, number 97 of the defense, that penalty declined, first down. Freeman back to pass again, hit as he throws, dumps it off to the tailback, Patton, and he's hit and dropped after just a two-yard gain at the 38-yard line of Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State 38. Freeman under center, takes a snap, quick throw, quick throw, far side, and it's caught by Dion Murphy for a short game. Third and four, Kansas State from the Cowboy 34. Backs are split. Freeman in the shotgun now. Five-man rush. Freeman, screen pass, left side, caught by Murphy. First down to the 30. On the left sideline, knocked out of bounds at the Oklahoma State 25. First and 10, Kansas State from the Oklahoma State 25. Freeman in the shotgun, takes the snap, throws the screen, this time to the right to Johnson. Room to run to the 25 to the 20, and knocked down at the Oklahoma State 19, a gain of six. Safe out to the side, second and four. Hand off to Patton, off left guard to the 17, and stopped near a first down at the 16-yard line. Third and one, Kansas State from the Cowboys 16. Freeman, quarterback, sneaks straight ahead, has a first down and a lot more. First and 10, Kansas State from the Cowboy 11. Minute 15 left. Freeman hands it off to the tailback, Patton, and he sprints into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas State. Untouched off right guard. Patton takes it in. Extra point coming up to try to tie the game. Now, they've got the offense out there. They may try to go for the win right here, Dave. They're going to try to win it right here? Wow. 38-37, Oklahoma State. K-State will go for two. I should say go for the lead because there's still a minute 10 left. Freeman under center. One back set. Two-point conversion for the lead for K-State. Freeman rolls out right, throws right side. The pass is caught by Nelson. The two-point conversion is good. You know, you had a feeling, you see Nelson come across in motion that the one guy you really want to account for in that situation is Jordy Nelson. He's had such a huge night, somehow he got to a spot where there no orange jerseys were around. All right, the Cowboys have a minute and 10 seconds and two timeouts, trailing 39 to 38. Jared Parker to kick off. Hits high, fairly short kick. Taken by Devereaux. Left sideline at the 15. Up the left sideline, 25, 30, 35, 40, and knocked out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Tommy Devereaux had no more than about two yards between himself and the sideline when he fielded the kickoff. And he just took it up the left sideline for about 30 yards. Good field position for the Cowboys. Minute four left. First and 10, Oklahoma State from its own 42. And Zach back to pass. Sets up, scrambling. Now he'll keep it. Right sideline, 45, midfield, first down into Kansas State territory and knocked out of bounds of the Wildcat 44. The fans wanted a late hit. Didn't get it, but Robinson gains 14 all the way down to the Wildcat 44. First and 15, Cowboys from the K-State 49. Zach Robinson takes a shotgun snap. Runs the option left, pitches it to Savage. Left side to the 45 and tackled at the Kansas State 42. He now got he's seven yards. Mike Gundy wants the timeout. He's talking to the line judge. He finally gets the timeout. He wasted about three seconds. He's right up in the linesman's face, signaling timeout and not getting a call. Timeout, Oklahoma State. Second down and eight. Zach takes a snap. Drops back. Floats it down the left sideline for Savage. And he makes a leaping catch inside the Kansas State 20. And out of bounds in the Wildcat 18 yards. That's a mismatch, but he knew where the ball was, and the linebacker, Holick, did not. He was not out of bounds. First down, hand off to Savage, up the middle, room to run inside the 15, and down to the Kansas State 11. 
in the center of the field trying to set up Ricks for a short field goal. 24 seconds, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18. Now what do you do? You've got one timeout left. You may want to just go ahead and, and stop it. Wait a second. Down to 12, down to 11. Robinson, quarterback sneak straight ahead, and he dies forward for a first down. Down to seven, six, five. And the Cowboys will use a timeout with six seconds left, and Jason Ricks will attempt the 25-yard field goal to win the game. Our Lenny sub play of the game. Cole Reynolds will hold. Zach Allen will snap it. Here we go. Snap back. Ball down. Kick on the way. It's high and low. And it's good! show period they may hurt but they're hilarious to watch these aren't your everyday bloopers these are the top 50 best damn fan bloopers tonight at 11. san antonio has become title town of the nba the spurs have won three championship titles in five seasons four overall we hear what this team thinks they have to do to repeat as champions this year. I think number one, the passion has to be there. You know, the passion to repeat uh, that that edge that you have. Straight away here at the Randall Tyson Track Center. Dwight Stone's along with Larry Rossum. We're ready now for the men's.